Okay, so we're going to show you how to use our incubator here. This here is the whole unit, and when you first get it home, it'll be in a box. You take it out of the box, and the first thing you want to do is, you don't have to put the eggs in right away, but you'll want to have the cover on and plug it in. As soon as you plug it in, it should show this light here that says work. And it's not gonna show 38 degrees right away, but eventually what it wants to get to is 38 degrees. Okay, so then we're gonna show you how to work what's inside here as well. It's pretty easy. You put your eggs in the different spots, but then on occasion we need to add in some water. And we're gonna show you how to put the water in. This is a dropper. You can fill the dropper or you can use a, a set of spoons or whichever is easiest. And you wanna go only on the side here. Only on the side, okay? You don't wanna go inside these holes here in the middle, just on the side. And you wanna put some water in. It's gonna end up being a, a couple tablespoonfuls. And you're gonna need to add that every couple days or so. If you notice that it's all dried up, that means you need to add more. You'll probably need to add more in the winter than you do in the summer because it's more dry in the winter. So see, I'm filling, I'm filling only on the side. Okay, and um, then I'm gonna put these back. Now, I don't usually take the eggs out when I add the water. And the reason is because I can just fill this water, fill the dropper up right here, and I can reach in through these side holes here and just push the water in. Okay, now you'll notice that the temperature changed a lot, and you always wanna put the lid back on. The temperature changed a lot when I put the water in because the probe is sitting in the water. So it's technically measuring the temperature of the water right now but eventually it will go back up and back up and back up and it'll be 38 degrees. And it should stay at 38 degrees most of the time and occasionally it'll fall a little bit lower. And that's how you set it up. And then you wait about um, three weeks for the eggs to hatch. And then we'll have a separate video on how to set up the brooding pen and how to feed the chicks. Okay, thank you so much. Have fun.